them. Good evening ladies and gentlemen. We are elated to cordially welcome each of you to the solemn occasion of the valedictory service 2023 of our outgoing students of Standard 10 and Second Pre-University. We hope you enjoy this service and wish our graduating classes all success in the future journey through life. In a short while, the graduating students would walk into the pavilion. As parents, I'm sure this is an unforgettable moment in your life, as each of your hearts are swelled with pride to see your daughter's dream being fulfilled, as they have excelled in the challenges they have undertaken in order to achieve their goals. As the 366 graduating students stride into the pavilion, their names would be read to us by the class teacher and Mrs. Selva Priya Benjamin. Meghna Sheikh Nida Fatima Sayed, Arbina Umer Uzaina, Fuhera Begum Varshini G, Hajira Gulnas Huda Tahrin, Agnes Rosalia A. Johanna S. Antony, Shobita K. Junda Servari, Afiana B. B. Hajira, Hasna Kazim Asiya Sahreen, Ghazala Jabin Nikita M, T. Mariam B. Bavia, Kavya N. Jyoti B, Sufia Begum Sakina Bilal, Resham S. Ume Kulsum, Daria Edwin Hafsa Farzin, Bumika S. Mehak A, Mahin Taj Sania Sharif, Maria Siddika Susan Alva, Madiha Kanum Nida Kausar, Afsha Ashrafi Alia Taskin, Safia Kanum Mehek Taj, Kulsum Humera Kanum, Rabia Basreen Ume Zainab, Abiba Kanum Misba Norain, Azra Arben Sanobar Ahmed, Noor Fazilat Asiya Ibtasam, Saida Nazra Tasmiya, Sophia Agnes J, Katechautal Kubra, Zoya Fatima Aisha Siddika S, Farin Taj Ume Kulsum, Shailaja Meenakshi M, Jennifer Pratima Mukherjee, Monisha Ramshia Yasmin, Kirtana K. Divya Y. Juveria Asan Ruth Cinderella. Afsa Anjum Sweety Jasmine. Nandita U. Ritika K. Arshavardini Yamini N. Puvarasi P. Sharin Dalia Y. Jacqueline J. Rebecca Angelina, Angel Maria Jude Akshaya S, Varshida Vidula Matilda Nico Joyce, Sneha Priya K. Sanjana S. Sneha K. Y. Daphne, 
Anusha S. Rukhaya, Afra Tabasum Noor, Ayesha Siddika A, Zaina Fatima AP, Satya, Archana V, Divita P, Rameshri, Sneha K, A, Daphne, Anusha S, Rukhaya, Afra Tabasum Noor, Ayesha Siddika A, Zaina Fatima AP, Sandhya, Tanusha M, Yam Priyadashini, Jennifer J, Suchitra R, Shweta P, Sandhya R, Crispin Jessica Jeevan, Unita V, Hemashri A, Sadika Nazreen, Jacqueline, Jennifer Mary, Abigail Dawson, Deborah A, Nisha Ganesh, Rutika Catherine, Shanley Ria Brass, Sadia Saidi, Silisti Silvia B, Vanita K, M Miracle, Sneha Rose Joy, Jennifer Stanley, Sharon J, Manika M, Mercy Rachel, Vaishnavi Rajendran, Divya Darshini M, Rushta Khanum, Azra, Sadaf Jahan, Arbina Kanum, Junaida, Sania Banu, Dakshaini M, Afrin Banu, Ashley Sandra A, Shweta E, Hafsa S, Rimsha, Suma, Mariamma, Masiha Rifat, Ayman Faruqi, Arbiya Tanzim, Saida Fatima Raushni, Ashwati A, Sumaya Taj, Rida Falak, Isha Begum, Abini G, Michelle P. Kumari, Farin Kanum, Guru Priya S, A. Helen Monica, Afra Anam A, Sara Fatima, Sabiha Banu, Nishat Kanum, S. Mahalakshmi, Sneha E, Akshaya Darshini, Priyanka M, Pravalika A, M. S. Zora Sultana, Saida Humaira, Suhana Seher, Fatima Nurain, Diya R. Saida Samara, Annie Mega P. Ruchita K. Divya K. Preeti R. Shivani M. Nurian Fatima, Alima Parveen B. B. Arbiya Banu, Jyotika Y. Darshani B. Sangeeta Padmavati S. K. Janani P. Sujata M. Pavitra, Aisha Salim, Amtul Habiba, A. Ifat Aisha, Catherine Rebecca, Zaina Fatima, A.L., Uznain Kanum, Humera Banu, Afia Fatima, Rajeshwari, R., Shaista Basri, Nida Fatima, Ajmal, Dania Nimra, S. Bindu, Ayman Khan, Vice President, and Hafsa Kanum, President. We now move on to the standard 10. The introduction of the students will be read to us by Mrs. Pramila Jasmine, Mrs. Daphne Jacintha Priya, and Mrs. Helen Christie. Sanya Banu, Sanjana S. Rakshita R. Spandana S. Zoya Falak, Sanjivini D.N. Veronica Angel D. Samra Anjum. Nazreen Taj Priyadarshini, Mary Josephine, Cheryl Hannah Janet, Muskan Begum, Angeline Mercy, Darshini N, Madiha S, Deborah Sadius S, Amina Farooq, Bhavya B, Sanya Sheikh, Pratiba M, Diana V, Asfia Farin, Nazia CK, 
Ume Nurain Khan, Shafia Arfa, Saida Atika, Netra M. Mahira, Sheikh Farnaz, Ayman Basri. Akshaya Vien, Divya Darshani S, Rachel Mary A, Ume Hani, Shivani M, Uma Bharati S, Lakshita, Ruhi Unisa, Anju J, Manju J, Riya J, Sara Saniya, Suhana Sufiya, Vaishnavi, Mizba Yusuf, Alfahana Fatima, Shimra Mariam, Zara Fatima, Fatima Seher, Bhumika, Lysia J, Naushin, Tanu Shri C, Amna Taseen, Ikra Maisara, Manisha Raj, Rosaina Fatima, Saida Ikra, Teja Hasini S, Musharat Fatima, Aisha Oves, Meheb Para, Mesem Batul, Rafa Sultana, Hadida Mateen, Hemalata N, Maria Maidalin, Mavish Zohara, Aisha Safakan, Zoha Fatima, Steffi Alice, Saba Ayman, Abirami P, Sharon Shiny, Catherine D, Bula Mercy M, Netra B, Saida Arshia. Mary Sharon V, Jennifer Anna Pushpam I, Srimati M, Shriya V, Senita Dizoza Evangeline, Rabia Basri, Safiya M, Yashita DP, Shifa Aslam, Arshita S, Mariam Thakir, Bashreen Nazir, Sanjana R, Yashika S, Aisha Siddika S, Rishita S, Alia Khan, Fatima Zora, Jenny Lydia K, Anusha K, Mephi Ramallah Sweet L, Alaina Fatima, Fatma Tuzara, Ria V S, Ayman Anjum, Sherlyn Geetika S, Angel A, Priyanka Meloni A, Priyanka A, Akshita, Buneshwari Harini K, Kirtana I, Faria Nas, Roshni Ara T, Divya Shri B P, Jenny Bulia A, Shweta S, Zara Alpha Jahan. Supriya K, Faiza Mahak, Lakshanya G, Aisha Mariam, Sufia Mariam, Zainab Arshi, Adiba Sharif, Captain of the School, Annie Monica P, Vice Captain of the School. Students, please be seated.
I quote the words of Benjamin Disraeli, the secret of success in life is for a, for a man to be ready for his opportunity when it comes. Dear students, I'm sure you're proud of this auspicious moment and that you have studied in this venerable institution of 168 years. Rely on God always and he will grant you success. All our graduating students are in their positions. The valedictory service of the Goodwill Girls High School and Composite Pre-University College of the graduating batch 2022 to 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, I request the audience and the students to rise to your feet to warmly welcome the galaxy of intellectuals, Revered Bishop, Chief Guest, and the other dignitaries as they walk in with the principal. The theme for today's valedictory service is kickstart with motivation and get there with discipline. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer, Psalm 18.2. We are anchored to the rock of ages, and when God is our strength in whom we trust, we are assured of his everlasting guidance and faithfulness. This is the theme of the school song adapted from the hymn, We Build Our School, authored by Sebastian Mayer. As we remain standing, let us pay our respect to the school by singing the school hymn, We Build Our School on Thee, O Lord. seated. I quote the words of R.A. Torre, prayer is the key that unlocks all the storehouses of God's infinite grace and power. To bless the proceedings of the day and pray for each of us present here, I now call upon Reverend Dr. Vincent Vinod Kumar, 
Diocesan Secretary, CSI Karnataka Central Diocese, to offer the opening prep. Shall we look to God in prayer? Gracious God, source of wisdom and knowledge, with hearts full of gratitude, sense of praise and adoration, we come before thy throne of grace to thank you for the graduating class of 2023. We thank you for giving your daughters an opportunity through Goodwill's Girls High School and Composite Pre-University College to enjoy new experiences, discover new truths, and develop new powers of body, mind, and spirit. We are grateful to you for enabling them to acquire wisdom and knowledge and be strong in spirit and for preparing themselves to equip, to serve that generation. We also express our gratitude to you for our trend-setting leadership of our chairman, our beloved bishop, Right Reverend Dr. Prasad Kumar Samuel, principal, Mrs. Gnanamani Franklin, members of the Board of Management, officers of the diocese, members of the diocesan executive committee, members of the diocesan education committee, faculty, staff, parents, caregivers, members of the family and friends who have encouraged and supported the graduating class to pursue excellence. We invoke your blessings upon this graduation ceremony Best of your blessings on our chief guest, Dr. Spurgeon, and the presiding dignitary, Bishop, Right Reverend Dr. Prasanna Kumar Samuel. Use your servants as your channel of blessing to inspire, motivate, and encourage the graduating class. Make our time enriching, edifying, enlightening, and rewarding. We ask these blessings in the blessed name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Pastor, for invoking God's blessings in our midst this evening. This is my prayer today. May the Lord guide and pave your way with fragrance of life. If the road that you travel now seems uphill and brings you down, then don't despair, because God's always there to share in your prayer. We now have a special rendition. This is my prayer today by our school choir. The choir is trained by our choir conductor, Mr. Gladwin.
Thank you, choir, for that lovely rendition. The word of God spoken in faith in the name of Jesus has awesome power to overcome seemingly insurmountable obstacles. We now have Dr. Rachel Renita, consultant pediatrics and specialist in pediatric neurology, bringing to us the word of God. Today's Bible reading is taken from the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verses from 5 to 11. And have you completely forgotten this word of encouragement that addresses you as a father addresses his son? It says, my son, do not make light of the Lord's discipline and do not lose heart when he rebukes you because the Lord disciplines the one he loves and he chastens everyone he accepts as his son. Endure hardship as discipline. God is treating you as his children. For what children are not disciplined by their father? If you are not disciplined and everyone undergoes discipline, then you are not legitimate, not true sons and daughters at all. Moreover, we have all had human fathers who disciplined us, and we respected them for it. How much more should we submit to the Father of Spirits and live? They disciplined us for a little while as they thought best, but God disciplines us for our good, in order that we may share in his holiness. No disciplines seems pleasant at the time, but painful. Later on, however, it produces a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it. May God bless his word. Thank you, ma'am. Dance and music are an important part of an organized rhythmic pattern. The semi-classical dance is an art form that features extensive movements of your body while maintaining grace along with expressions and tempo. We now have our students swaying in a semi-classical dance to the wafting music of a Malayalam lyric. Thank you. 
I quote the words of Martin Luther King, darkness cannot drive out darkness and only light can do it. And the Bible says, the Lord keeps our lamp burning and turns our darkness into light. So when we invoke God's presence, it eliminates the darkness within and illuminates it. We now have the traditional lighting of the lamp by our Bishop, Right Reverend Dr. Prasanna Kumar Samuel, Bishop Amam, Dr. Esther Samuel, Chief Guest, Dr. Spurgeon, Guest of Honor, Dr. Ranita P, Secretary of the Diocese, Reverend Dr. Vincent Vinod Kumar, and our principal to invoke a new future as we envision our past in the light of our present. Thank you, honorable guests, for dispelling darkness of ignorance and invoking the light. Physician. He has 15 years of experience as a physician and 10 years in the field of endocrinology and diabetics. He completed his medical degree from Kuntur Medical College and his master's in international medicine in Rangaraya Medical College, Kakinada. Later, his interest turned into metabolic disorder and pursued training in endocrinology and diabetics from Christian Medical College, Valor. Dr. Purgin's never-ending zeal for exploring new horizons made him pursue a fellowship in endocrinology in, U in the UK. He has to his credits 10 papers in international and national journals. Currently, he is the director and chief executive officer of Bangalore Baptist Hospital. He has started the endocrinology and diabetics units and with his close-knit team aims to lead the hospital towards excellence in every aspect of medical care. We request our civil area chairman, Reverend Justin, to honor our chief guest. We welcome you, uh, doctor. We also acknowledge the esteemed presence of our guest of honor, Dr. Rachel Renita, wife of Dr. Spurgeon. She is a general pediatrician and specialization in pediatric epilepsy and neurology and has a rich experience of 20 years. She started her work as a pediatric consultant in Bangalore Baptist Hospital and also worked as an assistant professor in pediatric in CMC for five years before rejoining Bangalore Baptist Hospital as a consultant in pediatrics. We warmly welcome you, ma'am. I request Mrs. Anna to do the honor. a warm welcome and acknowledgement the presence of officers of the diocese who supported and encouraged us in all our venture. Our sincere gratitude goes to Reverend Dr. Wilson Vinod Kumar, the diocesan secretary, CSA KCD, and presbyter in charge of St. Mark's Cathedral. Thank you, Pastor, for invoking God's presence, and we are extremely happy to welcome you in our midst this evening.
We have with us Reverend Christopher Samuel, Assistant Secretary of the CSI KCD. We welcome you, Aya. We, wel we welcome in our midst this evening Reverend Y. Justin, the Civil Era Chairman. He is also a board member and presbyter in charge of the Bethel Church Banaswadi. Welcome you, Aya. We have in our midst the members of the Executive Committee, CSA KCD. We welcome Mr. J. Chandran, Executive Committee member and treasurer of Bishop Gordon Boys School. We recognize the presence of the Board of Management of our school greatly acknowledge their immense contribution in various ways. Our treasurer, Mr. Chaladurai, Reverend Nyanakumar, Mr. Jayakumar, Mr. Johnson Kishore, and Mr. Kadiravan. We have with us the heads of the institution, of KCD institution, we have present, whose presence is warmly acknowledged and we welcome you all for this validatory service. We welcome Mr. Sam Martin, the principal of Bishop Gordon. We welcome Mr. Manoj, manager of CZM school. We welcome Mrs. Mamta Nandini, Principal United Mission School. We welcome Mrs. Vasanthi Saduri, Principal Arpana CSA School. Mrs. Clara, Principal of Methodist Mission School. We welcome Mrs. Indrani, Principal of Bishop Cotton Law College. We welcome Mrs. Vanaja Rajati, the Vice Principal of St. John's School. We welcome the pastors of the KCD, Reverend Paul Tanasigran, We have in our midst the treasurer of other KCD institution, Mr. Ullas, Methodist Mission School treasurer, Mr. Samson, Goodwill College treasurer, We have with us our retired teachers who have served in this institution in our midst this evening. We welcome you all. We also cordially welcome parents and well wishers who have come here to grace this daughter's graduation. Graduation is only a concept. In real life, every day you graduate. Graduation is a progress that goes on until the last day of your life. Remember the past, live in the present, and look forward to the future. The validity service is always uh, such a special occasion, the fruit of years of hard work, the realization of accomplishment, and the acknowledgement of success is achieved. I'm overcome with joy to celebrate the graduation of all these brilliant young ladies the future leaders of the world. I'm sure you all have mixed feelings on this day, which is blend of joy and sadness. I thank the entire faculty for taking care of our girls 
and for molding them into disciplined young ladies. To you, our graduates, you have to enjoy this moment and this great day as you march on to become adults. This institution has given you the best academics and provided you with the necessary tools to improve your skill while leading you in the path of spirituality. Hope you will use your life skill effectively and efficiently on stepping into this competitive world. Let me equally use this medium to facilitate with parents and guardians of the graduating students as they have started reaping a bountiful harvest, having invested heavily in their children's life. Our hearts are filled with thankfulness and gratitude towards God for helping us as a team in mentoring you. Without God's guidance and wisdom, we could not have traveled this far. As I end the speech, I would like to remind you, remind you of a verse from the Bible. From Proverbs chapter 16, verse 3. Commit to the Lord and he will establish your plan. So, start where you are. Use what you have. Do what you can. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am, for that very warm welcome. Gratitude turns what we have into enough. It makes sense of our past, brings peace for today, and creates a vision for tomorrow. And now, as a gesture of thanking their seniors, the choir will present a beautiful number. Thank you once again.
Thank you, choir, for that beautiful singing. We found happiness along the way, and now the journey is coming to an end. The hour has come for each of us to sense the fact that life was good with all of its trials and troubles, and perhaps life we shared it together. It's now time for both Adiba Sharif, the school captain, and Afsa Khanum, the pre-university president, to bid adieu to their alma mater. Respected Chairman, Right Reverend Dr. Prasanna Kumar Samuel, Bishop of this Karnataka Central Diocese, Chief Guest, Guest of Honor, Dignitaries, Principal Ma'am, Teachers, Parents, and my dear graduates, a very good evening to one and all. I am Adiba Sharif, a proud graduate of Goodwills. I can say it without any doubt that Goodwills have equipped me and all this living stories sitting beside me with confidence and has given us great opportunities to aware. Every beginning has an end and every end is a new beginning. It's a relentless cycle seen in every aspect of our lives. And life at Goodwills is no exception. Schooling was fun. As well, the journey that started out with hesitant, tentative steps taking fear in our mind. And now, look at how far these young ladies have progressed. I can literally see the excitement of being graduates. It has been an honor for being a part of this journey and the one which has been with confidence and a lot of memories. How can I forget our respected teachers who are the continuous support and who were the reminders to our inherent talents? A teacher is a candle who spends the whole life lighting up the lives of the students. Thank you for all your help and for constantly enduring our nagging about hectic assignments, scheduled presentations and late comings. The main reason for me to stand here and talk is all about my teachers, who have equipped me with a lot of talents. I don't think that I would have stood here without my teachers. When I needed it the most, you were always there to help me. Thank you so much for your help, guidance and support. May I request all of you to give a huge round of applause to all our teachers, staff members and especially our principal ma'am for being an influence that can be never erased. Thank you. And now, to all our dear parents out there, who made us the strongest person in the battle of life. The trust you have in us makes us the strongest person. I know how hard it was to raise us from kids, but you still managed to send us to this place. We will forever be grateful for the sacrifices you made for us. It is all because of you, because of your relentless support, hard work, and for always pushing us to become the person we are today. We assure you that we will make each one of you proud by all our achievements. Thank you, Dad and Mom, for making this day happen. Can we all give it up to them?
and now to all those crazy friends out there. Thank you for making this journey an unforgettable one. It is true that saying goodbye is the most difficult part that school never taught us. I still remember the days when we used to be lazy about taking the 8 a.m. classes, striving for attendance, hanging out with friends, unlimited presentations, last minute exam preparation, and waiting for the break was the best part. We have cried, we have laughed, we have lived, we have fallen down, we have felt the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. No, it hasn't been easy, but it has been worth every minute. I am going to miss each and every one of you, especially my friends and my fellow classmates. I will definitely end up smiling silently with tears in my eyes when I recall the memories spent with you guys at Goodwills. Always remember, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. And the one about the Almighty God for his countless blessings and mercy upon all of us. And now as we graduate, we should be well equipped with the challenges of the growing world. With patience, care and honesty to lead ourselves to, best, to the words the best we haven't dreamed about. We are about to launch into a new life. When you live here today, celebrate what you have accomplished, but look forward with an eye towards how you can be an inspiration to others. It is their memories that testify to the fire caliber of a graduating class of 2023. Often on graduation day, people look outside for heroes and heroines, but I see them right here and right now. The time in our prestigious school has come to an end, but it is very hard to say goodbye. I would like to conclude my speech by quoting the words of Kerry Washington. Your life is your story, and the adventure of you is the journey to fulfill your own purpose and potential. Congratulations and happy graduation. Together, let's go and change the world. Thank you. A journey of 1,000 miles begins with a single step. A very good evening to our Honorable Bishop, Right Reverend Dr. P.K. Samuel, esteemed Chief Guest, Dr. Spurgeon R., Guest of Honor, Dr. Ranita Rachel P., Dignitaries, Respected Principal Ma'am, Beloved Lecturers, Teachers, Dear Parents, Well-wishers, and the most marvelous batch of the year 2022 to 2023. It's my honor and pleasure to deliver the valedictory address on behalf of second pre-university students. I, Hafsa Khanum, the president of pre-university, consider this as a special occasion, as I thank the entire institution for nurturing me from the first day I entered as toddler to LKG, with so much of love and care till my second pre-university. The teachers have worked so hard, educated me, and transformed me from a childish, immature individual to a sensible and mature young lady. Congratulations to the graduating batch. Yes, we did it the class that faced one of the toughest times in history of mankind. We all have strived hard for it. Beyond that, what we should be really proud of is the way we overcame the challenges and navigated this journey together. Two years ago, we came with dreams and aspiration. Today, we are leaving with even bigger ambitions. All of us entered with different background 
and stepping out as a proud students with a common goal to be successful. We are leaving the comfortable zone of our institution and gearing up to enter the next phase of a life with passion, perseverance, and dedication to make our dreams come true. Holding on to our vision and motto of our institution, arise, learn, serve, and be steadfast. Today is a milestone. It tells us how far we have come. Keep learning, keep trying, keep accomplishing, and keep venturing onto your journey. Motivation and self-discipline work hand in hand. Good discipline comes from good hearts being practiced daily. So here's to letting your motivation propel you to get going and your self-discipline to kick in and keep you focused and moving. Before I close, I thank God as he, ha as he has been there in every step of our way. We also praise him for being our strength in all the things. We are grateful to God for giving us a wonderful, caring and loving principal who is our mentor and guide to us. We will always cherish your meaningful advice and the beautiful memories that we all had together. A million thanks to you, ma'am, for nurturing us, nurturing us with all your love and prayers. Our sincere thanks to all the amazing lecturers and teachers for grooming and molding us for a better life. It is impossible to measure the efforts each of you have taken to prepare us for our academics and for showing us the right path to achieve our goals. I definitely admit, as students, we have been naughty and troublesome at times, but you have handled us very patiently with a blend of both rigor and love, just the way our parents would have handled us. We would not have been successful as students without your diligent efforts. And now to you, our parents, it is a result of your hard work and the values that you have instilled in us that today we have successfully completed our graduation and the credit, it, and the credit for it goes to all the mummies and daddies seated out here. Last but not the least, this journey would have never been completed without you, my dear friends. Our memories of yesterday will last a lifetime. We will take the best, forget the rest, and someday we will find that these are the best of time. However, today is the day the Lord has made a gorgeous bloom of beauty and fragrance in each of us. I conclude with the words of Henry David Thoreau, go confidently in the directions of your dream. Live the life you have imagined. Now, as I step down from the rostrum, I urge each of you to engrave this verse in your heart taken from the word of God. Commit everything you do to the Lord, trust him and he will help you. Psalm 37, 5. I repeat, commit everything you do to the Lord, trust him and he will help you. Thank you. Thank you, Adiba and Hafsa, for sharing your fond memories down the memory lane. And we are sure that you will make us proud, bringing glory to God and honor to this institution. God bless you. Success doesn't come to you. You've got to go to it, said Marva Collins. We are now into the most awaited event of the evening. We are about to recognize the outstanding performance of our student, who has excelled in the field of martial arts and has taken our institution to the pinnacle heights. It was a matter of pride for our institution when Ruhi Unisa of Standard 10 participated in the International Urban Games Championship 2022 at Pattaya, Thailand, representing India, and she won the gold medal in kickboxing, making our country and institution proud. This is the first prestigious award in the history of Goodwills.
She is also an athlete, a Bharatanatyam dancer, a guide girl, a patrol leader, and has completed her Tritriya Sopan. I now request a Honorable Bishop of the Karnataka Central Diocese and Chairman of our institution, Right Reverend Dr. Prasanna Kumar Samville, and our Principal Ma'am, Mrs. Nyanamani Franklin, to give away her award. Thank you, sir and ma'am, for doing the honors. Ruhinisa, we are proud of you, and may God hold you in the palm of his hand in all your endeavors. We have in our midst, dear students, as a new chapter begins in your life, and as you take on a new path, you will cherish these memories of your school. Your teachers will now render a special song, It Not I, But Through Christ in Me, by City Alight, which is a contemporary hymn and a beautifully crafted song which celebrates Jesus as our ultimate provision and highlights our continual dependence on Him. And they wish you the best and pray that through Jesus you can achieve all your dreams.
thank you teachers for wishing them Jesus in all their endeavors as they embark on this new journey. We have in our midst St. John's School Treasurer, Mr. Dinesh. We welcome you, sir. Nicholas Murray says that optimism is essential to achievement and it is also the foundation of courage and of true progress. So, as an epitome of enthusiasm and optimism, we have in our midst Dr. Spurgeon R., Director and Chief Executive Officer of the Bangalore Baptist Hospital, whom I now call upon to deliver the graduation address. What a wonderful day it is, and what a beautiful atmosphere that we are in. It is my privilege to be part of this graduation ceremony of class 10 and the PUC of the batches 2023. At the outset, I would like to extend my thanks to the principal of Goodwill Girls High School for this privilege so that me and my wife, we are a part of this wonderful evening. And I would like to acknowledge and thank the chairman, the bishop, Right Reverend Dr. Prasant Kumar Samuel. And I would, like, I would also like to thank the board of management for giving me this privilege. I was wondering what to speak on a memorable day and a wonderful evening like this. Even as the young ladies, they are stepping into this world to a new horizon with dreams and aspirations to climb higher and be successful. I was looking back at my life and I thought some of the things that I went through will be helpful in your future journey. It was in the year 1996 and that was the time I finished my MBBS, the undergraduation and you have to begin your post, you know, you begin your internship, one year of compulsory internship. Before you start your internship, you have to go and get registered with the State Medical Council. So me and my close friend, we both boarded the train and we were on the way to reach Hyderabad to get our registration. As we were traveling after a couple of hours, we saw a, a 60 plus year old man. He was sitting before us. After a couple of hours, he started complaining of some discomfort in the chest. We tried to talk to him for some time. He said he had a heart problem. As we were talking to him and trying to, you know, give some advice, suddenly he collapsed before our eyes. And that was the first time before we embarked on our internship to see a 60 plus year old man collapsing before our own eyes. And we started giving the chest compressions and within a few minutes he was no more. Now looking back at the 26 years of my medical career, one thing I can say it for certainty that the life that we are having the life that we are living is so precious and it is a gift from God. And when we realize how wonderful and how precious is the life that the Lord has given and that will naturally you know, fill our hearts with gratitude, overflowing gratitude because we cannot manufacture, we cannot produce life. Ultimately, at the end of the day, the life that we live each and every single day is a gift from God. 
the psalmist says like this we are fearfully and we are wonderfully made and a subtle and a little sunday school child when the teacher told this verse he said yes this is really correct my mother is wonderfully made and my father is fearfully made you know life is precious and it is a gift of god the second thought i wanted to share with you when we are living this life which is so precious and which is a gift from god this life ought to have a purpose the author of life and the creator of this universe has intended when he brought you on the face of this earth with a certain purpose with a certain you know thing that he wants to achieve i remember my own father my father was born in an uneducated family his my grandfather and grandmother they both were uneducated they were living in a small village when he was born he was the 12th child in his family he was born as a twin so when he and the other twin was born the other twin immediately died there was no breathing and the other twin died so the my grandfather and my grandmother they thought that the other twin also that was my father will not survive because the breathing was very very shallow so what they did because they were uneducated they took my father who was not breathing properly and put him in a dustbin behind the house by evening there was a shallow cry the sister heard so she thought that this person must be alive and brought my father from the dustbin into the house and that was how he survived later on he was the first one to be educated in the whole house and he was the first one to come to the saving knowledge of christ life has a purpose life is a gift from god and when he has designed you and kept you on this tiny planet earth he has a purpose that you wanted to achieve when we live this life i remember very vividly when i was a small child i was in sixth standard one fine day there was this strong urge within my heart you know we had a wonderful biology teacher when i was studying in my school not a great school just an ordinary school but when i was studying biology i was so impressed during that tender age that i had to become a doctor no one told me there was no one in my family who was a doctor till you know that point of time so one day when i was in the 6th standard i climbed to the top of my house and that was a time they were white white washing our house i took that brush and i wrote my name dr spurgeon and that dream never died when i finished my 10th standard i was put up in a college which was started that year there were only two students after a couple of months in the biological sciences so there were only two students at that point of time one fine morning the principal of the college called and said see there were many students 100 plus students in the mathematics stream but there are only two people you and the other person in the biological sciences we want to scrap this course either you change to the mathematics stream or else you go and join in a different college i thought for a moment and that dream was there very much in my heart i said sir i will not join any other college and i will also not go to the mathematics stream i would like to pursue this biological sciences somehow god had mercy upon me the principal obliged and continued with two students you know after few months three more students joined so with five students he continued you know 11th and 12th standard and by god's grace at the end of that one i was the one who got into the medical college when the lord gives a dream for your life 
you know the lord will be able to make a way and the lord also will grant the necessary resources and the wisdom from above so that you will be able to see the fulfillment of the purpose and the dream that the lord has upon your life life is precious and life also has a purpose because we are created by god having the purpose having a dream in your heart is not sufficient we need the passion and we also need to have this perseverance to be able to see the dream coming into a reality it was our late president abdul kalam who said it is not just enough that you have dreams but the dreams that you have you know make you and should cause you to have sleepless nights so that you'll be able to achieve the dream that you had we need the passion to be able to pursue the dream that we have and the purpose and we also need to have the perseverance so that ultimately we'll be able to see the fulfillment of the dream and the purpose that god has placed upon your life and let me recall an incident that happened in my life i finished my mbbs and i finished my internship and during those days you know it was a common practice you know every student who comes out of the medical college you know if you ask anyone you know especially from the college where i graduated their dream and the aspiration is to go to america so during those times you have to go either to singapore or to bangkok to write the examination you know in order to go to america so i also pursued that one i went to bangkok to write the examination and somehow after going to bangkok in the year 9798 i fell ill you know i was so sick when i went there i was not able to write the examination properly and i finally was not able to clear the examination till that point of time i was so you know i was a topper i was very much you know an accomplished person in my academics i was not able to take this failure i was so discouraged and i was so depressed and i was not sure what to do next and that was the time the lord has intervened and the lord started encouraging me you should continue to pursue the dreams and somehow as i was waiting upon the lord i felt that is not the lord's will for me and therefore i started the preparation and you know i pursued the post graduation here in india itself itself we need perseverance to be able to see the dream and the purpose to become a reality someone said failure is not a person it is just an event you know as we move into this journey of life as you pursue and move forward there might be seasons of darkness there might be times where you are not able to clear the examination that is okay there is a time you will be able to rise up there is a time where the times and the good seasons will come back and you will be able to continue to walk in the dream the lord has placed upon your life passion plus perseverance is grit and that will take you to an altitude which you will never be able to expect life is precious life has a purpose and life also needs passion and perseverance and finally when i look back at my life is there something which made a dramatic turn around in my life i recollect when i was 19 years old i had an encounter with christ jesus and i can confidently say that encounter that i had with christ jesus when i was 19 years old has given a new meaning has given a new definition for my life i was able to get this the meaning of life life eternal i was able to know the real purpose i was able to find the passion to move forward and the lord also has given me the perseverance that changed my life i'm sure when we come to christ 
he will make a difference even with your life when we commit this small life that we have not knowing what is going to happen tomorrow but committing into the hands of the creator commit in a short span of life he can make something beautiful out of this life because the bible says the god of the bible says i know the plans that i have for you plans not to harm you plans to give you a hope and a future and that is what the god of the bible can do when you commit your life into his hands and finally as you step out into the new you know future you know stepping out into the new area and the new future of our life i would like to leave this blessing upon your life it is taken from the book of numbers chapter 6 verse 24 to 26 The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and may he turn his face towards you and give you peace. And this is my prayer as you graduate and move forward you will find the meaning of life and find life eternal and you will understand that life is precious it has a purpose and it requires passion and perseverance and when we come to the creator christ he will grant all these things thank you and god bless have a blessed future thank you sir for your significant words of enrichment for our outgoing students barbara colros has said the beauty of empowering others is that your own power is not diminished in the process you have inspired us indeed god's sovereignty is an essential aspect of who he is and that he has supreme authority and absolute power over all things and yes he is very active despite our perplexity this is the central theme of the special number christ above all written by mindjoji valencia and rendered to us by ani monica and clementina against of your girl so hard but here we are today standing by your side the journey is but partly done ahead of us more challenges to come but we know we can survive the time cause Christ above all our plan no matter what Provide us a way of life 
A revered man of great faith, the driving force of all ministerial initiatives of the Karnataka Central Diocese and a perennial font of inspiration to many. Goodwills is fortunate to have at its helm our spiritual mentor, guide and teacher, the Right Reverend Dr. Prasanna Kumar Samuel. It's our honor and privilege to call upon our Bishop and Chairman of the Board of Management of the Goodwill Girls High School and Pre-University College to bring greetings to us. The principal of uh, Goodwill's Mrs. Nyanamani Franklin, the officers of the diocese, members of the board of management, members of the executive committee, the treasurers from different boards of management who are here, ever supportive parents, well-wishers, heads of institution, and all the other guests who have been invited this evening, and my dear young girls. From the beginning of this evening, we have been listening to varieties of speeches and the songs and the blessings from your teachers, from your parents, and from the chief guest. And to conclude it all, your young girls who are willing to sing this uh, bold number, saying, Christ above all, whatever happens in our lives, whatever the hurdles that you might face, it is God. When God consciousness is slowly eroding from our culture, the money consciousness, the status consciousness, the power consciousness has come into our country. Here is an institution where God consciousness is coming back into your lives. Whether it was your own colleague or your own student, classmate who was willing to speak up, quoting the Psalms, commit your ways, or the teachers who are willing to sing for you, yet not I, but through Christ in me. And the chief guest reminding us as a medical professional that it is in God that we live. And the life that God has given us is very precious in the sight of God, in the sight of human beings. And how precious we are going to pursue this precious life with the motto and the goal that's been given to us. This evening, kickstart with motivation, get there with discipline is the theme that has been given to the graduating class of 2023. Motivation and discipline are two essential pillars of success. It is both motivation and discipline equally will help you to climb the ladder of success. If motivation is the push, discipline is the staying power. 
One cannot overrule the other. At the same time, both have to be taken in balance. How do we leverage both? The open secret for this is the ability to wake up and keep pushing every single day. The perseverance that you like to do and the way that you like to persevere helps you that it is not just one day emotionally you want to have a dream and forget about it, but every day in your life you are able to push through the dreams that God has given you to who you want to be in the future that God has kept for you. No matter what happens every single day, you need to remember the motivating factor, whether it is within you or it is outside. As we have entered into 2023, just one month old and few days of uh, February, the graduation, the birthdays, or the new job, all these have become milestone in each of our lives. You arrive at an important phase in your life, maybe chronologically, personally, or professionally. These are the rites of passage all of us go through. These are points of great momentum. So we kickstart with a great deal of enthusiasm. We have finished 10th or we have finished 12th standard or PUC. What next? Someone has already mentioned if one door is closed or as we come to the end of our journey, there is a new beginning from tomorrow. You arrive at an important phase. Well laid plans and you invest your energy. Before you can think of, the steam goes down. People say, motivation does not last. That's why we recommend it, daily zigzagler. Motivation is a kickstart, the key in the ignition. You need to turn on the vehicle if you need to turn on the key and start that vehicle. But sitting idle in park mode is not going to get you anywhere you need to turn on the key. Someone said, which interested me, motivation is what gets us out of the bed. Motivation is the one that gets you out of the bed. Discipline is what keeps us from going back to the bed. Because your commitments, you have schedules, you have so many things, you can't just get back to your bed. Examinations are around the corner. The motivation is that I would like to become so and so. If that is a situation, you need to stay awake and you need to really understand and that discipline helps you to move on. The journey of life will have neat, clean roads, but speed breakers will be there. Roadblocks might be there. Diversions might be there. There may be traffic jams and accidents and our whole vehicle breakdowns. But if you have the discipline, if you have the discipline in your toolkit in your car or in your vehicle, you can navigate through. All of this we call as discipline. Discipline is a planning, all that you will carry in your toolkit. Discipline is a bridge between goals and accomplishments. Motivation gets you going and discipline gets you growing. It is in that growth. And the Bible also says, it is God who gives you the growth. You might have the dreams, you might have the motivation, you might have all the well-laid well plans, but it is God who gives you the growth. And you need to recognize that God because he is a creator, he is a sustainer, he is the one who helped your parents to send you to this institution. Motivation can come from within the intrinsic, the intrinsic value. It can be from the external factors, the extrinsic value. Whether it is internal or external, we need to understand 
It is God who gives us that motivation. Ask yourself these three questions when your motivation goes down. Get into the habit of asking yourself, what do you want to do? I even at this point of time, I stop for a while and ask myself, what exactly you want me to do in a given situation? As young as you are, as you might be facing many challenges and many roadblocks or many hurdles, it's my wish and prayer that you stop for a while. You know, when you go to the signals, you have the, you're the green, you're the orange, and you're the red. So the orange prepares you, saying that you stop for a while, you wait for the green to come. So you have to wait for some time and to understand. But you know, these days are days, everything seems to be instantaneous. And everything wants to be very instantaneous. But you know, life cannot be instantaneous. And if you need to achieve the goal, you need to go through all this process. You need to ask yourself, in a given situation, what is the right thing to do? What do you want to do is your motivation. What's right for you to do is your discipline. So you need to keep the balance of these two. When you're being pulled in numerous directions at once, it makes you hard to get anything done. You get overwhelmed and you lose your focus. It is hard for you to have a focal point. Remember how good you feel. Remember how you feel when you reach your goal. When you finish your workout, for example. When you reach your ideal weight or clear the competitive exams with honors, you are so proud because the motivation was there, there was discipline, and you are able to achieve. Whatever you do, you need to give it 100% unless you are donating blood. Apart from donating 100%, you cannot donate your blood. So apart from donating blood, anything else you do, 100% you have to do it. So the secret of discipline is motivation. When you are sufficiently motivated, discipline will take care of itself, said Alexander Patterson. In the Holy Bible, Apostle Paul says, I do not run aimlessly. But I run with my focus. I run with my eyes on Jesus Christ. The price that I need to get. That is the key to discipline. A real belief that the pleasures of a reward will be worth the denial of lesser pleasures in this world. And that's what nourishes our spiritual fruit of self-control in our lives. Galatians 5.23. So dear graduates, this evening, as Apostle Paul says, I do not run aimlessly, but I run with eyes on the price that I need to achieve. I do not want to turn this side or that side, but my aim is to achieve the goal. Go for the price and give it your all and cherish the reward and you'll be able to look back to your alma mater and say, with steadfastness I was able to pursue. It was not just a kickstart, it was also moving forward with motivation and discipline. May the God who was able to guide you and lead you thus far will enable you to pursue wherever you go. But the basic foundation that you have realized you have gained here will help you to put up the super or put up the edifice, the superstructure, and you'll be able to move forward. God bless you and may this motivation can get wherever you want with the discipline that you need to have. Thank you for inviting me to be part of your graduation 2023.
Thank you, sir, for your warmth and enterprise. Now we are moving into the most solemn part of our program. Students, pick up your candles and stand for the candle lighting ceremony. The very essence of leadership is that you have a vision. It's got to be a vision you articulate clearly and forcefully on every occasion. Vision animates, inspires, and transforms purpose into action. Directing our energies towards the fulfillment of this vision is our mentor, the Right Reverend Dr. Prasanna Kumar Samuel, Bishop KCD, and Mrs. Nyanamani Franklin, Principal Goodwill Girls High School and Pre-University College, to lead us in the candle lighting ceremony. And I also request the class teachers of the outgoing students, Mrs. Pramila Jasmine, Mrs. Daphne Jacintha Priya, and Mrs. Helen Christie of Standard 10, and Mrs. Lumen Amal Raj, Mrs. Sharni Raj, Mrs. Girija Virappa, and Mrs. Selva Priya of Second Pre-University to take their positions. Tell the mic guy, I am not yet through. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. He said, you are the light of the world. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. This candle symbolizes the light we receive from God. We invite the school leaving pre-university and standard 10 to light their own individual lives from this light and then pass on their light to others to spread the light of truth and love in a darkened world. Thank you, Bishop, for passing on the light of goodwill heritage, which will shine like a beacon. As the candles are being lit, the choir will render to us a beautiful melody like a candle flame.
Thank you, teachers, for doing the honors. Henry David Toru said that I have learned that if one advances confidently in the directions of his dreams and endeavors to live the life he has imagined, he will meet with success unexpected in common us. To be successful in life, we shall promise to give our best to translate our abilities into work, do it with commitment, and reap the fruit of hard work. We now have our oath-taking ceremony. We call upon our principal to administer the oath. Dear students, continue standing as you render the oath and repeat after ma'am. Valedictory oath. On my valedictory today, February 8th, 2023, as I stand upon the threshold of my life, I promise to honor my school motto, arise, learn, serve, and be steadfast. I will carry the good values I have learned in this institution, In this institution. I, promise I promise to spread, to spread the, flame the flame of knowledge and wisdom, and wisdom that, I have that I have received here. Received here. I, promise I promise to endeavor, to endeavor encourage, encourage, empower, empower elevate, elevate, enrich, enrich and exalt those younger than me, those than me. And, support and support those who are older than me. I shall strive hard in my life to love, to, love, to, share, to share, and to serve, and to serve my, fellow my fellow beings. May my life, May my life be, worthy be worthy as, as a citizen of God's kingdom. So help me, Lord. So help me, Lord. Thank you, ma'am. Dear students, your education in this institution has empowered you with all that you need. You owe it to us now to promise that you would follow and use them to make this world a better place. The outgoing students will now pledge their hearts and minds to God's glory by singing the pledge song. God, who is all power and all love. 
keep your candle shining bright and clear and empower others life you meet along the road of life may god bless you students please be seated thankfulness is the beginning of gratitude gratitude is the completion of thankfulness thankfulness may consist merely of words gratitude is shown in acts was said by henry frederick emil a very good evening to the august gathering present here today i ani monica student of standard 10 regard this as an honor and privilege to extend my thanks on this special occasion once a great man said feeling gratitude and not expressing it is like wrapping a present and not giving it first and foremost i thank the lord almighty for showering his blessings on this occasion i extend my gratitude to our bishop right reverend dr p k samuel chairman board of management who has blessed us with his gracious presence and for his valuable insights the thoughts you have shared will always remain in the hearts of all i would like to extend my thanks to our chief guest dr spurgeon for accepting our invitation and for gracing this occasion in spite of his busy schedule Your thoughts have truly inspired us and we are all enthralled by your stimulating and captivating words. I am sure that the students are thoroughly motivated by your pearls of wisdom. I extend my appreciation to the guest of honor, the members of the board of management, dignitaries and guests for their esteemed presence. I offer my sincere thanks to the choir master mr gladwin for the time and effort he has spent in training the choir and for their symphonic rendition a great leader is the one who leads by setting a trail worthy to be followed i take this opportunity to thank our beloved principal mrs gnanamani franklin for directing us to look and walk in the right path we can still hear your words tingling in our ears energizing us to focus on learning more and always be ready for opportunities that may come we will ever remain indebted to you and we thank you for your enterprising initiative and dynamism in bringing up our school to greater heights your impact on our lives can never be forgotten heartfelt thanks to all our teaching faculty who are our second parents who have always stood by us guided us led us and motivated us you have always been a great mentor mediator resource house and a moral booster thank you for teaching lifetime skills and indispensable knowledge so that we students can stand out and outshine others great teachers like you have taught us to be good human beings by being an inspiration yourselves we as students feel proud of you all and we thank you for your tireless services to this institution i would like to extend my thanks to our supporting staff we have been fortunate enough to be backed by a team of very motivated and dedicated supporting staff I cannot thank everyone enough for their commendable skill and willingness they have expressed to take on the completion of tasks beyond their comfort zones. A big thank you to all the parents out there for their unconditional love and support in shaping our lives with passion and complete positivity. You have been a priceless blessing and we thank you for believing in us. and inspiring us to achieve our dreams i also thank all the well wishers for their rock solid system and encouragement finally i would like to express my gratitude 
to all my fellow students who have been a part of my life in this life's journey and have helped me sail through difficulties. I just want to congratulate all the graduates with the verse which is taken from the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verses 9. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord, your God, is with you wherever you go. Thank you all. In the presence of the Bishop Degree College Treasurer, Mr. Joel Sumatraj, we welcome you, sir. Oh, taste and see that God is good to all who seek his face. Yea, blessed is the one who trusts him, confiding in his grace. I now call upon Reverend Christopher Samuel, Assistant Secretary of the CSI KCD, to close in prayer. To rise to your feet for the closing prayer. God of grace and mercy, the source of all wisdom and understanding, we praise and adore you. We believe and acknowledge that you are the author of all sacred beginnings and magnificent transitions. As a class of 2023 stands at the threshold of a new phase we pray that you will be with all the graduates and provide them with the wisdom and the understanding to move forward. We also pray that they will look back at their time in this blessed institution, the sacred space of learning, and give thanks to you for all the wonderful ways in which they have been molded, empowered, and inspired to be better human beings. We give you thanks for all the wonderful occasions for learning that they experienced in the classrooms as well as beyond. We give you thanks for all the faculty, both teaching as well as non-teaching, who have played a remarkable role in terms of fashioning these wonderful girls. We also pray that your presence will be with them as they take a bold step into the uncertain future. We pray that you will bless them with patience as they explore new horizons in their lives. We also pray that they will be blessed with humility as they encounter abundance, prosperity and success. Bless them also with generosity in terms of sharing their gifts and the resources that you have provided to them. And we pray that you will endow them with compassion as they relate with more human beings who are lesser fortunate than them. We also pray that they will always imbibe a spirit of gratitude and will always prioritize you over everything else in their life so that you will be honored and glorified. At this moment, we give you thanks for their parents who have encouraged them and who continue to sacrifice a lot for the betterment of their children's lives. We give you thanks for the principal of this institution and we pray that you will provide her with all the wisdom that she requires as she provides leadership to this institution. We pray that you will keep us safe, secure, and she will be a wonderful person who will have a lasting impact on this institution. We pray for all the staff members, and we pray that you will endow them with your grace so that they will be wonderful assets to this institution. We give you thanks for the inspiring leadership of the bishop the chairperson of this institution, 
the right reverend dr prasanna kumar samuel we give you thanks for everything that he brings in terms of his leadership for inspiring us to be better human beings and also to exhibit christian values in all realms of our living and during all phases of our life experiences we also give you thanks for bishop amma as she continues to partner with him in terms of offering meaningful involvement in the affairs of the diocese we give you thanks for dr spurgeon and dr rachel as they provide leadership to the baptist hospital we pray that their efforts and their commitment will produce the desired result and they will also experience your goodness all the days of their lives we give you thanks for all those who are present here and we pray that we will continue to be in solidarity with these young girls as they move into their futures we pray that we will continue to inspire them encourage them motivate them and always be concerned about their futures be with us bless us guide us and lead us in jesus christ most holy name we pray amen as we remain standing i request our bishop the right reverend dr prasanna kumar samuel to step forward and pronounce the benediction with faith and confidence let us receive god's blessings unto god's gracious presence we commit the graduating class of 2023 in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit very specially with the motivation and discipline they will enter into new realms and they will climb new heights with keeping god in their center in every step that they go they might be able to glorify god both now and forever more amen good will strive to bring about the best in you and firmly believe that you would shine in flying colors as mary angelo has aptly said the horizon leans forward offering you space to place new steps of change so go confidently kick start your motivation and get there with discipline congratulations once again we hope you enjoyed this beautiful service and carry in your hearts memories that will sustain you for the rest of your lives thank you good night students remain in your places until the dignitaries leave